following program contains scenes of mature subject matter. Viewer discretion is advised, especially if you're easily grossed out. Children will enjoy it because it's fun, interesting, and icky. Hi, I'm at the home of Julia and James. I'm Janine Paul, your host of Green Deeds. Thanks for showing us your um, worms. Oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> what's this called scientifically? Um, Ver culture. Vermiculture. Yes. Vermicomposting. Or vermicomposting. Vermicomposting. What's going on here? All right, well, these are our worm bins. Um, we originally started out with one bin, and now they've multiplied, and so we have two. <laughs> <laughs> and um, they basically are several layers, and each of these trays have holes on the bottom so the worms can climb through. Um, so you put the compost on the top, and that's all just kitchen waste and paper that like all of those kind of things. Yeah. And then they basically break it down and turn it into compost. So if you go further down in the layers, more and more, the nicer the compost will be. And then you can basically rotate the trays as they go through the process. Um, the other fun thing that they make, the other fun byproduct, it's called worm tea. Um, and that's what the little spout is for. Yes, so you can see there's a little bit in there and just every once in a while you have to drain off more of the worm tea and that just makes really nice fertilizer for watering your plants with. I bet! So. <laughs> it's really good stuff. Some people actually pay a lot of money for this but we just use it on our own vegetables. Wow, yes. we must love that too. Yeah, they do. Are they hard to look after? Like, do they need special uh, light or heat? No, they're very easy going. They're not even really icky. Um, <laughs> they're not smelly. Touch them. Um, you can touch them if you want. They won't <laughs> bite. Um, they don't really like light. That's why when you open it, they sort of scurry away. They like to be in the dark, but otherwise they're easy to keep. They like, they like sort of a cool environment. Um, that's why they're down here in the basement. Um, wow. But they're low maintenance. We just put whenever we have some compost, we put it on there. In the summer, we have a compost bin outside as well, but in the winter, that's just mostly uh, what we use. We don't have to go out into the cold. Really and there, if you go away for two weeks and come back, they're still happy. So you don't, they're not on a regular <laughs> feeding schedule. They're pretty wow. low maintenance. Are they friendly? They seem to be. Very friendly. <laughs> okay. There's a picture there with them smiling. <laughs> Vermicomposting, or worm composting, is easy and convenient. Even apartment dwellers can do it. We can make high quality, sterile compost quickly, any time of year. Here's the thing about compost. Gardeners and farmers will know this. It conveys to soils a quality we call tilth. Tilth is what gives dirt, or soil, the ability to be both wet and dry at the same time. So adding compost or worm castings to soil helps increase its water and nutrition holding capacity. Here's how. Imagine these rocks are soil particles. Soils low in organic content have a low water holding capacity. They're going to be either too wet or too dry. And plant roots will find this environment very inhospitable. They'll either desiccate or they'll drown. The addition of organic material to soils like that coats them with a kind of a texture or character. And it enables this medium now to contain both air and water at the same time. So roots can breathe and stay moist. That means you can get away with much less fertilizer and watering and at the same time have happier, healthier plants. Rich soils are key to beautiful and productive gardens. And whether you're a backyard or a window box gardener, growing your own is one of the most fun, nutritious, and environment-friendly things anyone can do. Well, this has been most fascinating. Thank you for the interview. Uh, I have one last question. Where does where do you get worms? 
Okay, so we got these actually just uh, locally from somebody else that is doing the wormy composting. Um, they are special kind of worms. They're called red wigglers, and um, you can't just go into the garden and dig up some earthworms. They don't really know what to do. They'll just escape, oh. and take off, <laughs> and then they'll. Okay. Sort of die in your basement so that would be kind of <laughs> sad um these ones they stay in there and this is what they do and they seem to be good at it really and they seem happy as far as i can tell <laughs> cool. um so you get them from people who already have them yes mm -hmm. and they multiply really fast um we we started out basically with half a yogurt container um full uh, of red worms and um yeah now we have two bins super gosh well uh, I have to thank you for showing us around. This is really, really fascinating. And um, You're welcome. Thanks for your time. Very cool. There you have it, folks. World's greenest pet. For more green deeds, check out greendeeds.ca. Till next time, I'm Janine Paul. Thanks for watching.